Well, welcome to a new school year at PLC and what promises to be a special year in more ways than one. A centenary to celebrate, a new learning environment for senior school students that will take shape across the year and a transition to leadership as I complete my time at this remarkable school and pass on leadership to a new appointment. It is our centenary year. Details of events and activities are available on our website, but I take this opportunity to mention two special events that will occur in Term 1 in the hope that you might place them in your diary. The first is the PLC 100 party to be held on Saturday, March the 28th. This will be our first centenary event and a true gala occasion a one in 100 years opportunity for all members of the school community to celebrate under the stars with champagne, good food, wine and entertainment. The second to be held across Easter will be a gathering of pipe bands from across Australia and Asia for a competition for mass performances, a march through the city and a fair at Scotch College Oval. It will be a unique way of celebrating our Scottish heritage. Across the year, we will also celebrate by profiling achievements of inspiring PLC women drawn from different disciplines at assemblies on the website, as well as school publications. As already mentioned, please check our website for further details. If you have driven past the campus in the last few weeks, you would be forgiven for wondering if we will be ready for the new school year. It certainly looks like a demolition site and something seems to be happening in almost every corner of the campus. We are, of course, working furiously to ensure that the functioning parts of the campus will be in excellent order by February the 2nd for returning and for new students. Stage two of the junior school play space is well underway and we'll be waiting for the energetic and creative play of our younger learners on their return. The boarding house driveway has been repaved and the View Street fence line has been given a facelift. The rubble from the demolition of the senior school wing will have been removed and the site prepared for the creation of a new teaching space. The renovation of classrooms adjacent to Scorgie House are ready for reoccupation. The space is much lighter and contemporary than the former maths corridor. It is air conditioned and fitted out with technology necessary for effective 21st century teaching and learning. For our senior students, it will be a taste of the new building to come. Our auditorium has been refurbished and refitted with up-to-date presentation screens and equipment. It will now comfortably accommodate a full year group and should be available for use within the first few weeks of term commencing. A new dance studio has been built adjacent to the Drama Centre that will not only be a wonderful new facility, but also frees up additional teaching space in the middle school. The quad has been excavated and lowered to ultimately benefit the flow of students and classrooms around the school. The landscaping of what is the heart of our middle and senior school will take place across this first term. Alternative outdoor spaces for students at recess and lunch times have been created on the west side of the cafeteria as well as the northern side of our middle school. While there will obviously be major building works occurring across this year, our focus will be on quality teaching and learning and ensuring that academic achievement, especially for our year 11 and 12 students, is not compromised. I do urge parents to give thought to the obvious traffic congestion that will be further hampered this year by construction works. Please consider dropping off your middle or senior school daughter away from the campus, perhaps a block away, but within walking distance of the school. Alternatively, you could give thought to your daughter catching the school commuter bus that leaves from near the Cottesloe station on Station Street each morning at 8.20 a.m. We congratulate the class of 2014 on their strong WACE and diploma results 
particularly our ducks, Emily Ong, on receiving a general exhibition. Further analysis of our results are contained in the newsletter, but we were pleased to be named amongst the top 15 schools in the state for Mathematics 3A and B, Mathematics 3D, CD and Mathematics 2CD for Chemistry, Physics, Psychology, French, English and Literature, Applied Information Technology, Food Science and Economics. Please note not all subjects were eligible for these rankings due to small class sizes with what was our half year cohort. I congratulate our staff on supporting the girls in achieving their goals. Thank you to all parents who completed the school survey for us last year. I did send a summary of the overall results at the end of last year. We will, however, be addressing some of the areas identified by you as in need of improvement. A good school is an improving school and we take your feedback seriously in seeking to provide excellence in education for girls. You will be kept informed of areas identified for improvement and strategies for addressing them through links. Links remains the key means of communication with you, so please do give time each week to keeping informed of school events, activities and news. I share with you two quotes from the survey that to me encapsulate the spirit and intent of PLC. The first is a parent response to what is best about PLC. And I quote, that my daughter feels like she belongs, that teachers know her for herself, appreciate her and encourage her to do her best. That there are so many wonderful opportunities for our girls to try new things, to extend themselves, to consider another perspective, to improve. It is such a good fit for my daughter. And from a student, the wonderful opportunities that students are offered across a range of areas, arts, sport, academic, to extend, challenge and enjoy ourselves. To say I'm part of the PLC community is a pleasure. We hope 2015 is a pleasure for all.